Hello, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for coming to join me today. Um, I just wanted to share with you two of the journals that I've managed to finish. So I've done the two, um, well, bunny journals. That's a bunny journal that's been reserved and this is a bunny stroke Easter journal um, that will be going in my Etsy store um, later on when this, well, when this video goes up it'll be there. If the lady that wanted to reserve this changes her mind then I'll list that one as well. Okay, so let's do the one that's been reserved first. Um, this one has some fabric that I've had a long time. I've been hoarding it and it's I think it's a William Morris design. And I don't know if you can see, but it has little rabbits on it. So I didn't want to put anything on the front of it because I just love the fabric. Um, but I've put a, a vintage doily round it with some ribbon on and that just comes off completely. So if you don't like it on, you can just completely take it off. But the fabric to me is just gorgeous. I've also got it in a very pale green and I've been hoarding that as well. <laughs> anyway, measurement wise, oh, I forgot to measure. I think they're about nine inches tall. Yeah, nine inches tall by just over six and a quarter. So um, they're quite big, they're quite chunky. This one's got um, frills, in, oh, ruffle inside it and some ribbons and things that you can see. Um, and it's got a couple of ribbons poking out the top as well. So this one, um, the lady didn't want Easter, so it's just bunnies. Um, pocket at the front that's, oh, sorry, I'm not really in frame, am I? I just realised, sorry, not doing very well. How's that? Is that a bit better? Um, pocket at the front there that you can slip a couple of things in. I know it's not a bunny, it's a hair, but I found that in a book. And this is from an old vintage Strand magazine where it's a, a rabbit and a raccoon going on a journey. So they're both in there as just extra journaling space. Um, this is a um, ladybird book that I found in a charity shop that was falling apart. So I've used some pages from that and that flips out and there's a bunny journaling card in there. So that's just an envelope that flips over there and the bunny is peeking over the rabbit. And it says, live life in full bloom. And sorry, silly me, the kits that I've used are from Rachel Roxy's Creations and I'll put a link to her store below. So these are actually um, her Easter kit from last year that I'm using. And then in the other one, I've also used her previous Easter kit. So in her Easter kit, she does them with the Easter bits, Easter images on, but she also did them without the Easter images on, if you see what I mean. So that's what I've used. Um, this in here is a um, little pocket with a little um, Peter Rabbit and Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail and just a bunny tag just there. All the tags are backed and then a little rabbit peeking from underneath that plant just there. Um, some tea dyed paper there and I've just put some pretty paper. This is Rachel's painted papers on the back there. Again, Rachel's Easter papers. And I think on the Easter one, there's actually an Easter bunny on that part. So she did them with and without the images. Um, I think we did this flip together. So that flips out. So there's you can put something on there or you can journal on it and on that bit. And then there's a journaling card behind it. And these are from the Easter kit as well. That's the previous one. And of course, you can journal on this part as well if you want to. Uh, flip there with a rabbit on. Um, envelope there that I've made. Oops, Daisy, that goes over the page. And I've put a little journaling card in there. I think that's Benjamin Bunny. And a couple of rabbits on there. And then inside there is a journaling card. And that's got some extra paper attached as well. That just fits in there. And then that just goes over the page. So the, the similar uh, layouts in these books, or they've got similar, um, oops, Daisy, got my paper clip stuck. Similar things on the um, envelopes and things, but obviously different papers. Again, this is Rachel's paper from the previous year. And then in the back there, I've made a pocket. And this is Mrs. Cog's uh, rabbit kit. It just fits in there. Edith Holden book page with the rabbits on. And I've left that because I thought, well, it's quite pretty against the green, but you can put something over it if you wanted to and write on it or put a photo on. Again, Rachel's papers. 
And then this envelope here, again, a window envelope, it says, once upon a time, there were four little rabbits. Then Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. So it's a window envelope there. And that's got a journaling card in it. I think that's when he'd eaten too many radishes and got a tummy ache. And a journaling card there. And I've left that plain as well. A little rabbit peeking. Another of the book pages there. Some more of the tea dyed paper that I've done. And this is actually, um, you could use this as a tuck spot if you wanted to. I haven't stuck those edges down. So it could be a tuck spot there if you wanted to. Um, but some pretty tea dyed paper there. And again, there's a tuck spot there if you want it to be or not. But left it with a choice. That's one of Rachel's papers there. And I just like that it had the rabbits on. I didn't think it was very Eastery. And then there's a little tuck spot in the back there. Off they go to the woods, these little bunnies are on a picnic. More tea dyed paper. Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit being caught by Mr McGregor there. Rachel's beautiful papers there. And again, that's from her previous Easter kit. I just like the rabbit on it. It looks a bit grumpy, actually. That's just some vintage lace there. It does fit in. There we go. Another tea dyed paper there. Another page of Rachel's there with the lovely rabbits on. So it's quite spring-like, I think. When you get to Easter, it's spring, isn't it? So that opens with some journaling space in there. With the rabbits on the front. And then there's a little tuck spot behind there. And that's the white rabbit from an Alice in Wonderland book. Uh, another window envelope just here with a journaling card in and the rabbit. And then I've cut that out of the one of the book uh, kit pages, made a pocket out of it. And then in the back, there's a little pocket just there with some more Peter Rabbit. Love this page. I think that must be fabric that Rachel's had. And this was one of her, her bookend pages, I think. Then there, there's just a little envelope in the centre of the signature. And there's one in the other one as well. And in it, I've just included... Um, the rabbit images that I had left over when I'd finished. So I've just included those so that they can be used to decorate um, the journal if the, if the lady wants to. And again, that's nice and plain so you can write on it or decorate it. And you can actually write on this as well. We did this waterfall. So they all lift up. The, that one obviously doesn't lift up because that's glued down to the page. But those three lift up so you can write on there. And then there's a journaling card in there with those rabbits getting together for a party I think that just sits behind um, I think that's from Rachel one of Rachel's um, botanical kits and then again another journaling card just there again with one of uh, Mrs Cog's images on there and the pretty little bird and the back of that Peter Rabbit page I think there's a foot there look Mr McGregor's trying to boot him out of the potting shed and then that flips out there with the little rabbits on. The lace belly band as well. And I think that rabbit is smelling those flowers, look. It just tucks in there. The tail of Peter Rabbit. So you can see there's quite a lot of journaling space in here. That book page again. Um, some fabric that I had that's got Peter Rabbit on it. And I've just put some lace and other bits of fabric on there, so you can journal on that bit. Uh, another envelope, so again, that comes off over the edge of the page. And there's a, a journaling card in there, and there's Peter Rabbit being chased there by Mr McGregor. Look, a journaling card. And then again, another journaling card in there that I've decorated. Just fits in there nicely. And I, I put some sellotape on there because there was a crease in the page um, and I just thought it would just strengthen it a little bit. And I quite like the look of the, vin uh, the vintaged up sellotape on it. Bunny's gone fast asleep there, look. Um, CD case there with a rabbit on the inside and then a little journaling card tucked in there. So again, you can write on this page if you want to. Threads coming off the ruffle. 
another of Rachel's book pages there, kit pages, sorry, and the rabbits, more of Mrs. Cog's bunnies. And again, um, that can be a tuck spot if you want it to on both sides, or you can just leave it as it is. And um, this pocket flips down and it's got some paper in there that you can write on. And then it just tucks underneath there. And then there's a journaling card that just fits in behind it. This one goes over the page, so it's got a little clip on it at the top. So it flips over the page and there's some papers there that I've just attached and I've tied them in so you can take those out when they're full and replace them if you want to. And then on this side, there's a pocket just there, the tracing paper. And then there's also a pocket there with the rabbit in. And then that just sits over that page. Of course, wherever I put these tags and flips, you know, the, the tags and things, if you don't like them where they are, they can they can be moved around, can't they? Um, tea dye paper just there. And then on the back page, I think I, I think I did this one with you. So I put a little postcard letter in there with the rabbits on and a rabbit stamp just there. And then that opens up. And we've got another letter just there, postcard there with the bunny sat there. And there's a book page from Peter Rabbit as well there. And that's Peter Rabbit writing to his cousin Benjamin. And that just sits in there. And then a journaling card in the back there. So there are, um, there's at least 80 pages front and back in this one. And then in the back there, a couple of couple of bunny cards in there sitting behind the flowers and they just sit in there. So that's the first one. And as I say, that one was asked to be reserved. So it'll be reserved until the lady lets me know one way or the other. And then this one is more, um, more Easter themed. Um, so I've used the, the actual Easter kit from Rachel for this one. Um, again, it's just got the ribbon tie and this fabric is from Kath Holden. And again, I just couldn't cover it. I just thought it's just such beautiful paper. And I thought it's Easter themed. It's got the eggs on there in the nest and it's just beautiful, beautiful paper. Uh, sorry, fabric. And I love the colours. I thought it was nice and spring like and it went nicely with the um, kit. So I used it again. It's backed in blue and it's got the kosher, kosher, <laughs> crocheted pocket trim there so that goes front and back and as I say this one's Easter themed so these are cut out from leftover kit pages that I had so they just go in there that flips out so that you can see the Easter bunny and there's a little journaling card in there and again this one's got at least um, 80 pages front and back in it and then that turns over and that flips out there and there's a journaling card just there with that rabbit on and again, these are Rachel's painted papers. She is clever. That goes in there like that. Again, if you want that to be a tuck spot, you can. That's my tea dyed paper. And again, if you want it to be a tuck spot there, you can. Um, quite delicate with the uh, doily on, I know, but it is pretty. Uh, Edith Holden page just there. Again, some ruffle. And a journaling card in there with the Easter bunnies on. And then the rabbit on there, and I think we made these together, and that flips out, and you can write on there if you want to. Book page there. The, um, I was going to say Br'er Rabbit. I don't know where Br'er Rabbit came from. Peter Rabbit. Another kit, pa uh, kit page, another journaling card just there. And these are from Rachel's ephemera set, her Easter ephemera. And then we made this one as well, and that's just a tuck spot there. So two tuck spots that we did and two journaling cards. And these are all the from the Easter ephemera, as is the little bunny with his little basket. And again, the um, chaffinch nest there. Uh, envelope, that's what that is. And it's got one of the journaling cards that uh, is in Rachel's ephemera set. And I've added a Tracy label just there. And there's a little sheep at the top there. And then inside that one, 
is some extra journaling space there. So this is one of the um, Easter pages that I've just shrunk down. I think I did two to a page for that. And that just fits it over there. I think I just wanted these to be bright and cheerful, these journals. You can tuck something in there if you want to as well. The lamb. Then this is one of the um, journal pages that I didn't use. So it pulls out like that so that you've got the full image. And then it flips over and it pulls out so you've got all that journaling space and you can journal here as well. And then it just folds up and I just put a little, make sure I'm not clipping two pages together, little paper clip on there just to hold it steady so it doesn't flap open. Book page just there, more tea dyed paper. So there's quite a lot of room in this one to write as well, I think. Then one of the Easter cards from the ephemera set and that just cut tucks out. And a, one of the embroideries that Rachel has there. Beautiful papers. And that flaps over and the chick there. That lovely page again there it says Easter morning. Just a book page there. There's a little bunny sat there and there. And I just, I didn't want to cover this up um, because it matched across with the paper and I just thought, thought it looked really nice. Again, there's some of the fabric that I had with Peter Rabbit on there and that flips up. Window envelope just there. There's a little pocket there with a late little girl feeding the bunnies. And then that window envelope, it's just looking through at the children with that egg. So, I mean, you can write on all this if you want to as well. And then in the centre of that signature, again, I've just included bits and pieces that I had left from Rachel's Easter ephemera set. So they can be used to decorate as well. That flips over. Again, we did the... Which way did I do it? <laughs> it goes one way or the other, doesn't it? It does, honest. That way, got it tightened. That flips up, so we've got the three flips up. The last one doesn't flip up because it's a pocket behind. So it's got a journaling card in there. And that's the waterfall that we did. Yeah, don't pull it so tight this time, eh? And then it backed it with the Easter paper. And then this one as well, the pocket there. And then I've just folded that because I didn't want to cut the little girl off. So I've just used it as a journaling space that, with a fold in it so that it just fit into the pocket. I couldn't have cut her off and I couldn't cut the bunny off either. <laughs> again, the book page just there. And again, you've got the repeat of that pattern on those two papers. And the bunny. Easter bunny just there. A lovely journaling card just there. And that flips out. Happy Easter. And then again, we've got a CD case there with one of Rachel's ephemera pieces. And there's just a journaling card in the back. And again, you can write on that if you want to. Another of the envelopes just there. And again, that's got one of the pages that I just shrank down in there. So that can be used to write on as well. And all of these envelopes have been done using Rachel's um, painted pages. And then there's just a little pocket in there. And again, this one flips over the page the same as the other one. Just take that off. So we've got two pockets there. We've got three journaling cards in there. And then over the page, there's just the extra... Um, papers in there as well so that just hangs over the page and just clips in and I liked the bright yellow all together nice and eastery and again that can be replaced the papers in there again we've got the tuck spot that side and that side Edith Holden page again this um, is a tuck spot just there and then that lifts up and lifts down and we've got some extra journaling papers in there 
and then that closes and it's held shut by that tag so that just stops that from popping open a little journaling card there that does look a grumpy chick doesn't it and then that just fits it does fit behind that tag or inside the flip if you wanted it to um, flip out just there and there's just a little journaling card just there and then decorated again with Rachel's papers. I do like using envelopes in, in journals and again lots of writing space. Book page there and then on the back um, again this was it an envelope that I used? It might have been an envelope. Or it might not have been an envelope. I don't think it was an envelope, actually. No, it wasn't. It was, um, this is one of the book pages. Um, I've added the rabbit, the flower and that. It had the, the yellow flower and the butterfly on. So I've added to it um, and just made it a flip. And then I put a pocket on the back. So it's got the little bunny again sniffing the flowers. And then I had this page left over. So I just included it in there. So that's just a flip in there. Book page again, my tea dyed papers, and that's an envelope, definitely. Same as in the other one. So I've put that paper on there with the with the grumpy chick on. And then there's a little journaling card there with a the little rabbit on. And there's a little journaling card there with a spring bird on it. That does fit just in there. And again, the rabbit just there. And then in the back, we've got the little bunny. On a journaling card as well and then in the back of that there's another couple of journaling cards and they're all backed so this one will be listed in my Etsy store probably um, not long after the video goes live but I hope that you do like these um, and I'd just like to thank you again for coming to join me but take care everybody see you soon bye